New details about a plan that would change air travel for families and pregnant women. Senator Michael Bennett is behind this proposal and says it should make flying less stressful. Kelly Worthman live at DIA tonight with details on this pretty interesting amendment. Kelly. And Karen, the amendment really aims to make air travel easier for families, especially families with multiple kids. Basically, it would ensure that parents are never separated from their children when going through security, and then again when they board their flight. It is, you know, a struggle just to get through the airport in one piece. For many parents traveling by plane with young children, the struggle is real. At any turn, it could all go wrong. <laughs> Security can often be a nightmare, but so is the reality that moms and dads may not get seats next to their kids. It would probably be a bit hard if we were separated. With more airlines charging extra for preferred seating, some families with multiple children can't afford the fees, often leaving kids sitting next to Strangers. I would feel so terrible for the person sat next to them. <laughs> Colorado Senator Michael Bennett is trying to relieve some of the stress. Part of his amendment to the FAA's reauthorization bill would require all airlines to allow parents to sit next to their children at no additional cost. It tries to make it a little easier for families that are traveling with kids to know before they get to the airport that they're going to have seats uh, together. Here we are. A few parents traveling to and through DIA like the idea, but believe there should be some restrictions. I don't think that 20-year-olds uh, need to sit with their family, but I think younger kids absolutely should sit with their family members. You shouldn't be penalized, nor should it be a traumatic experience for your children. Now, the amendment, which was unanimously approved by the Senate last night, would also allow for pregnant women to pre-board. The entire FAA reauthorization bill is still up for debate. We're live at DIA, Kelly Worthman, CBS 4 News.